Hey, what's going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game. Just want to show you guys the updated lineup here. Uh, really the only major difference that we have from the previous games is what you're going to see here on the screen in just a moment, and that's that I have actually added Julio Jones to our lineup. So he's somebody that I have uh, had a lot of fun playing with. But uh, other than that, I really didn't make any changes from the previous videos that you guys have mostly seen. Uh, people ask me, though, when I do make an, uh, an updated lineup, whenever I add a player, remove a player, anything like that, uh, that I go ahead and show you guys. So there it is. That's the major update that we've made. We added Julio Jones. So we'll see how he ends up playing on the field for us. Now, I want to show you guys this because uh, this was the final game of one of my seasons that I played. I didn't even end up making the playoffs. I just didn't get demoted. Right away, the guy quit. So I'm assuming that he was just intentionally trying to uh, demote himself. So let's move on to the next season. Uh, new season, 0-0 zero and zero here. I uh, just want to show you guys what we got going on here. Very first play. Oh, my goodness. We're already going to take a sack. And he's bringing heat. You can totally tell that he's bringing heat, which means we got single coverage. Oh, Calvin dropping it there on third and long. So we are going to go over here onto defense. And my opponent just throwing dots out there. Jameis Winston with such a sick pass there. Unbelievable. Makes an unbelievable throw there to get him a first down. And he's going to continue to drive down the field here, throwing short passes kind of over the middle, a couple of stuff to the sidelines. He wasn't really running the same play over and over again, at least not that I could tell, which made it very, very difficult for me to slow down his offense. I couldn't really pick up what he was doing. And he was mixing it up here with the run as well. Look at Marshawn Lynch getting involved there running over guys and he's gonna run it one more time here i thought he got into the end zone here but eric weddle laid the hammer on him forced a fumble but unfortunately we did not recover next play he does get into the end zone kelvin benjamin with a nice touchdown there so we're already down seven nothing we did nothing on offense in our first drive but now we're gonna get started here with the running game of our own marshawn lynch look at this beast stiff arming guys spin moving and getting down to the other side of the 50 at about the 40 yard line we're gonna throw one over the middle here to mike ditka who makes the catch holds on to it in traffic and we're gonna continue to try and pass the ball unfortunately we take another sack Ugh, just ugly brings up a third and 19 here let's see what we could do here we're gonna run a four verticals play but i put marshawn lynch out there to try and get him to pull his user away and that worked perfectly we're able to complete the pass there very next pass it is over the middle to calvin johnson on that smash y fade for the touchdown now my opponent's gonna try and actually put his players five wide in this drive here uh, he does it two plays in a row here first play it worked out pretty well second play he's gonna throw this thing up into traffic here and he tried to throw it to his running back i don't know what he was doing out there throwing that thing at my guy Vontae davis terrible decision to be completely honest with you single coverage you've got your number one cornerback against a running back yeah i will take that every time oh, and look baby. at marshawn lynch here that was delicious Another huge run, and Beast Mode is into the end zone for the first time this game. We've broken off two huge runs now, and now we've got his defense. We have to make him think that we're going to be able to run the ball. I mean, that's the big thing. And if we're able to make him assume that we're going to be able to run the ball, the passing game becomes so much more easy. And that's what we're really hoping to do in this one. But look at my opponent here, just throwing dot after dot. Finally, we get in there with some pressure. Bruce Smith gets a sack, brings up a second and 20. But look at this guy. He's just going to throw a beautiful pass here down the sidelines, picking up 17 on that one, setting up a manageable third and three, and he's going to hand this one off to his running back up the middle. He's loving that shotgun power run, and I've got to watch that in the second half here uh, because we're getting down here toward the end of the first half, about a minute 20 left in this one, third and 17 now, and my opponent's going to throw this thing up here into traffic kind of but he was able to complete the pass and comes up with it for a first down now on defense here at the goal line we've got to make a stop here we cannot go into the half with this game being a tie oh man he nearly got in there with beast mode brings up now a third and goal i don't know why he didn't run here i was fully expecting the run i didn't commit on it but i was fully expecting it and we end up getting a sack because there was nobody open my opponent ends up having to take a field goal there at the end of the first half so that's actually pretty key we were able to hold him off from the one yard line he did not get into the end zone so it is still a four point lead for us here in the second half third and eight my opponent's gonna go over the middle gotcha bitch luke keekley with the interception that user pick baby and we're going to bring this thing back to around the 15-yard line, setting us up in a situation where we could potentially extend this lead here. 
We made a couple of mistakes on first and second down, but on third down, we are going to go over the middle. Calvin Johnson in the end zone. What a sick throw there by Tom Brady. Calvin Johnson goes up and gets it, and we now have an 11-point lead here with about a minute 40 left here in the third quarter, so he's definitely got to put some points up on the board on this drive. He's throwing that little hitch route there two times in a row, and I saw it coming the third time, but unfortunately, he had another route to go with there. That thing just crushed my man coverage. There really wasn't a whole lot that I could do in coverage there. And he's going to go to it one more time again with a nice completion. He's trying to... Now he's not really mixing it up very much anymore, to be completely honest with you. He's kind of going with the money plays that were working for him early in this one. So we'll see if it ends up staying that way here toward the end of the game as we pick up a sack there, setting up a third and 12. And my opponent's going to go over the middle into coverage. We should have been able to intercept that one. Did not. Now... Fourth and 12 here. This is a big play. Three minutes and 20 seconds left in this one. He's going to throw it up into coverage in the end zone. No interception, but that's okay. We're getting the ball back here. Two minutes and 40 seconds left. Just trying to force my opponent to use his timeouts. He used one there, but on this play, Brady takes a sack and gets injured. So he gets away without using a timeout on that play. Next play, though, he is going to bomb it up deep here into coverage. Get over here! Vontae Davis comes up with the interception, and we are going to return this thing all the way back to about the 45-yard line. So, beautiful play there by Vontae Davis. Now, I did expect my opponent would think that I was going to go with the run there, so I ended up bombing it up to Calvin Johnson. Didn't get the animation that I was hoping for, so we end up throwing a pick. Dumb interception there, I have to admit. But there's only 2 minutes and 11 seconds left in this one, so we really just have to not allow him to score a touchdown. And he's going to pick up yardage like this on hitch plays, but we just can't allow him to get the big play and score a touchdown. And that's really what we're trying to do here. So on this next play, we're going to bring a blitz here, a man user blitz. And Luke Keekley comes up with the game-breaking sack. That is absolutely huge, guys. Under two minutes left now, and we have the football. Pretty much just have to pick up one first down to run this one out. Third and inches here, and we've got a wide open Mike Ditka underneath. Take the tackle, and we are going to be able to get out of this thing with the victory. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure, of course, to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you are new. Sorry I haven't been uploading quite as much Madden, guys. Uh, I mean, you guys know the, the game, to me right now, just feels so broken. There are so many just awful things that um, I, I've kind of lost my love for it at the moment. I'm trying to find some things that'll, you know, turn that around, like this Madden Ultimate Team League that I've been talking about. And like I mentioned in my previous video, go back and check that out, out if you guys didn't see that. That's hopefully something that I'm thinking will turn things around for me and make me love this game again. But thank you guys for sticking with me. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you again soon.